Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode where I'm going to be heading into the old forest. And I finally managed to get around my procrastination and I'm going to go and do the story quests which will take me there if I remember correctly. And if not, then maybe procrastination has succeeded by altering my memories. So after this loading screen, there we go. And I keep, I always head out into the center trying to find the little inn room in the back because you don't look for the entrance to the back of the inn right next to the door you came into, it just doesn't feel right. And he's over here. So we're on book one, chapter seven, the horn call you of Buckley. And is that worth wearing? That is not, Listen so I'm well. just going to let it stay in there. Talk to Tom Bombadil, so this is the one where it takes me to the old forest. So I go talk to Tom Bombadil, deliver that letter to whoever Kanbeck is, I can't remember. I think I should remember though, he's important if I remember correctly. The can I remember reading that name a whole bunch. So that he's at least involved in multiple quests, but I can't remember what he is or what he does or why he needs quests. Um, where is Kandak? Is Kandak right? What is that? The Forsaken Inn. Ah, so he's the guy at the very beginning of the Lone Ones. And hopefully it shouldn't be that many more episodes before I get into the Lone Ones. Because then I have the Old Forest and oops, wrong direction. And I have the Barrow Downs and then I'm into the Lone Ones and Trestle Bridge. And I'm already past due to get into the Lone Ones. And, you know what, I've gotten all the quests I need for that deed, right? Ariador, Reland, Reland Adventure Final. So I'll do quests until I get that one's five more quests, and then I'll just finish up the story and head off into the Lone Ones, because I'm past the level where I should be in there. And, I am bored of Bree, I've been in here for 15 something episodes at least, if my brain has malfunctioned with that count. Um, I apologize, I have no idea how long I've been in here, but it certainly feels like 15 episodes, and since we're on episode 29 or 30 or somewhere up near that number, I assume that 15 episodes is long enough to feel that way, and I think they're talking about spamming Moria tokens to do that, stuff like that, and you cannot travel while in combat, ah, that's why I turned gray, because I got bored angry at me, so you can't use it as a panic button. This is a shame, because that would have been a really neat use for it. Wow, he's persistent. Anywho, we have a little more traveling before we get to the old forest, so... See you then. And this is that unfortunate moment when you take a shortcut and find an unfortunate traveler. And that does not bode well. And these guys will attack me, so I will just... Move out. Uh, these guys won't bounce up and down when they don't do it. You can't bounce up and down on the horse while not moving anymore. I thought you could do that. At one point, but apparently I was missing. Oh, that one will attack me. So the dark blue will attack me. The light blue, that one, light blue one will attack me. What you? A rat hit my horse and it died. Rats aren't supposed to be that strong. So I think I'm about to run into a whole bunch of evil things. Old forest is that a ways. Let's turn that on. I think that's only out of combat run speed, but now I'm out of combat, so that works. Who went into prison? Lolia. Oh, that's the lady who goes and has the quest to go and help her, and then she walks around, stumbles across a whole bunch of whites, and essentially gets you killed. But not on purpose, because she's a supposedly good character. She could be evil in disguise. They have massive spoilers later in the game. I'm not even going to say it, because I haven't reached that in the story on this character by far since it happens in the Angmar. And all these quests I don't want to pick up yet, because I'm not here. I may never use these, I'm not sure. I would be way... It would be five or six hours of work to get through the Barrow Downs in the Old Forest, when I really don't have to, because I'm past the level I need to be, and I'm doing well. I have the deed and everything. Oh, and Lelia said something that I didn't even notice. Good thing she didn't say it at me, because then she would have been sad. So Tom Bombadil is over here. And I've had multiple people tell me how fun it is to slap Tom Bombadil in a variety of ways just because he's an NPC and doesn't notice. Hey, it's a root. And it doesn't notice me. But this one will notice me. And I was going to say, a bat bit my horse and it fell over again. That was going to be annoying. So now Tom Bombadil's house. And indeed, old forest exploration. I'll have to do that someday. 
but not today. I clicked the wrong button. So, apparently at that angle, no matter how many times you try to open the door, hey, and there's Tom Bobadil. And so, finish now. Collect large lilies. What can I do for you today? So let's go collect our large lilies. And that isn't all that far away, is it? I know it's over here. So it should only take me about a minute, minute and a half. Even though it makes you all sleepy to be over there. It gives you an effect that takes away all your power and makes you weaker and all that sorts of nasty stuff. It's from the book, if you remember, the old man Willow and the guy, the tree that Tom Bombadil had to put back to sleep because it tried to eat one of the hobbits. Um, you don't have a quest where you have to save the hobbits from being eaten by a tree, but that was a chapter in the book. And then the Bear Downs, which I thought was a really odd chapter. So, the Baleful Willow Root looks like it might be evil, so I'm just going to avoid it. And I picked up that lily over here, and the lily over there disappeared. So I have no idea what that was. Um, maybe it was all of the quest-related lilies disappeared, and only the, the, just in 10 or 15 seconds ate all of my power bar, except for the little stub down here. But now that we're out of there, it's coming back, and we can go and talk to this guy. And then we only have three or four more story quests, I think. I'm probably wrong. Oh, and you have a throng broth, or some word I'm sure I'm mispronouncing. It's a name for a big barrel of evil and nastiness. And I think level 21 to level 23 is a safe way, safe level to go through there. The hunter deals pretty well as long as you see the enemies coming, and finish now, and find and defeat the Corbane and their master, and... Ah, the fun. So, onwards to defeat Corbane, which is back the way I went. Really close back, although it takes a little longer than it, you would think, because that is actually just on the other side of a ridge. That leads down into the little valley thing that all the people were camped out in. So, I actually have a decent amount of traveling to do, if I remember correctly, and I haven't been in the Great Barrows in months, so I could be misremembering that. And, they did great music with this game. They have a soundtrack out for Rohan that you could buy, and I almost bought it. But, I figured there was I had the choice between saving up money to buy things I could play or use, and buy things I could listen to, and listening to things wasn't quite as high on my priorities list. But it was a good song, set of songs, and I like they changed the main menu song to something way better than it was before. So, I like what they're doing with the game, a whole bunch of people, um, even GLFF just sit there raging at Turbine, but they've done a pretty good job, especially since they've been taken over by the Warner Bros. Entertainment Division, if I remember reading that correctly, and I assumed everything would fall to pieces after that happened, because generally when a company gets taken over, the quality of all their products diminishes terribly, with some notable exceptions, like D&D was bought by Wizards of the Coast and it took off immediately. So, this person says, fool, did you think that my pets would not learn that they're up? Oh, do that. Of course, I don't care about your text. Go and change that. So, Crabane's Crabane. It's Crabane if there's one of them, and a Crabane if there's two of them, which means they aren't a Crabane. But, these guys are really easy, and they're two levels beneath me, so I shouldn't have anything to worry about, even though I'm playing a noob as my hunter, because if he dies, or doesn't die, stinker's vibe, now he's dead. So, that, and blindside, and there he goes, and then she runs in like an idiot and gets herself killed. So, shoot her again, and there. And there's a quest. The story quests at this point of the game are ridiculously easy. I wish it stayed that easy. Moria, they get annoying. They go, go kill this messenger in the middle of the largest den of enemies in the entire game on the other side of the planet, and then come back and report across the biggest maze that's been invented. And that is the essence of Moria. Hence why I skirmished through it. I got into the very first area of Moria, and experienced issues and gave up. So, maybe on this guy I'll actually play through Moria the way it was intended. Maybe. I'm not sure. It, the old Moria is like more, the old Moria, it's, the Moria is the, like the old forest, but worse. The old forest is almost a little taste of Moria, and you're level 20. So, 
made all these guys level 50, made the mazes way larger, and made it so that there were cliffs you could fall down when your graphics lagged, and it would kill you instantly. That would be Moria. Sounds pleasant. So, I think I only have two more quests to do before I go to Alfrongroth. Maybe I could be misremembering. 1830. Oh, I can replace the Raider of Teladur. I don't have enough room. That game is telling me what to do again. So, we go Dare Core the useless bracelet and put in Telang. What can I do for you today? Hey, and they changed the music in here. So, ooh, that looks awesome. That is the measle blade I've ever seen. I look like an awesome raider skirmisher person. And I have a Skyrim helmet on. It's like the guy from Skyrim, except it's a girl, which is kind of creepy looking. So, I'm making lots of video game and other game references today, so I Hello, apologize friend. if you don't get some of them. Oh, this is Athrongroth. Athrongroth. Yeah. That's odd word. Too many R's. So, I have any, everything in order, I believe. Is this very good? I don't really think so. So off it goes. And off it goes. Just in case there's something I want in there. Off it goes. Hey, it didn't go off. Off it goes there. And onwards. And this will be the end of the video. But it will take a while. There was a glitch somebody showed me on this. I have no idea how to replicate. But you got the final boss to just sit there and scream at me. And it wouldn't come any closer. Which could spell doom. It was hilarious. If you know that glitch, please post how to do it in the comments, because I would want to do that on video. Really bad. I can't remember how. It's like if you have a hunter and you start in the right hand corner of the room and bounce off a lantern and shoot him with a certain move, then he won't come after you. And it was funny. And it only worked for me because my warden can sit back there and hit with ranged attacks. If you're a melee only class, it doesn't work very well. Pump Bombadil went off over there. So apparently, that's not where I was supposed to go. This was. I'm confused. The game has already messed me up terribly. Oh, I'm supposed to go down the big path. I suppose that makes sense. Because it's a big path on the map. But over here, it looks like the rest of the world. I... Ooh. Evil noises. So... Okay. I think this, maybe, is this off wrong girl? Because I need to head into... Nope. The game says denied. I'm not allowed in there. So maybe this other extension of the path that... This looks like an actual path, I suppose. More of the ground in here. There it is. See, that barrel. Ooh, and it's a temple thingy. I remember that vaguely. And then the evil barrel. Barrel. That's a barrel. That's a barrow. And some people are going to try to stop you. This part is the easiest. Even when I was underleveled, I could take this with my warden easily. And... You don't really have much to worry about as long as you don't stop attacking. And he's dead. And I got more things I shouldn't use. Deed bestowed. Barrow downs. Yep. And then might as well lead all since I And inwards. And onwards. And so you have all the dower hounds, and they're essentially as happy as somebody with the name Dower or something can be. And then the whites come and eat everything, and you follow them in and kill the big leader of the whites. If I remember correctly, I've only done this instance once, maybe twice. I did it twice. So, put that, and that, and that, and the toast. And I think, oh, another guy came in. New Blitz. Wow, there's four of them. I forgot that. So, and, and, boom. Damn, little inside doink. I have a feeling that down there is the path of evilness. I know it's not. Wow. It's like, it's over here. The big gigantic gaping hole in the wall that's not supposed to be there is not the gaping hole of evilness. Ooh, this looks like it would have been an evil place, but it's not. See, they put all these side rooms in there, and it makes the barrels look really neat, but it also psychs out the people who are looking for an ambush. I go through games looking for ambushes because I know ambushes will be there, but Lotro psychs me out so much because we'll go, and ambush, just kidding, and all of the characters, there's an ambush, and I would have assumed that that would have opened if that was in 54, but it's not, now that I see, because there's a guy dead there, I suppose he wouldn't have died if that was a working door, so, and I wonder what would have been behind that, because doesn't this 
Oh, this doesn't turn left. I was going to say it's a door that doesn't lead to anywhere that exists, which would make sense. So then these are more dour hands. So I haven't gotten to the whites yet. I thought they were earlier, so I've forgotten the gigantic chunks of this instance. Doesn't bode well. Ooh, turns some of this celeb on board. And it just knocked it away. You ain't taking me down. Why not? Oh. So he's gonna go and get help. Two arms come quick. Yes, I will lure you all to my doom and get promoted. I'm sure that's his thought path there. The only problem is I'm gonna get killed because I'm a noob. I'm going to I didn't even see my health is down there. Die, 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 die. And... Super death. And you are toast. And now I'm going to see if I have any potions. I should have at least... There we go. That's a little bit better. My warden had no health issues whatsoever, but he would run warden and champion with both one out of power, like, insane speeds. Back when I was leveling them through this area. Whereas this guy has no use for power potions but runs through health at insane speeds because his armor isn't all that good. I suppose I could change that, but I'm too lazy. And it's the evil door, it's the skull door. So, Dowerhand Trader, you heard Lord Skullgram. Oh, there's a guy hiding over there, behind door graphics. No, they're gonna be noobless. Don't stun me. It's not nice, and I just like it. So, if I were to swift bow, and this guy will die. And that guy will go, you've killed my men, but you will not kill me. Wow, their sense of... Their prediction skills are way off. He's been killed by millions, I'm sure, by now. And he doesn't remember any of it. Wow, I just did it with my health again. Oh, I can't be defeated. I... I and stuttering. Bad guys stutter. Stay back. That's the thing. That's going to eat him. They're going to blow up and do that. And deadly barrel white. And I need more health. More health. I need more health. Darn it. I hope that the isn't the end of my streak. Because I would hate to be killed just through my own ineptitude. And it's gonna be close. Hope he didn't leave a bleed wound of some sort on me. There we go. And now we cut out me waiting in a corner for my health to regenerate. And so now that that's recovered, we can go onwards. And I have a feeling that when I look back at the recording of this, I will be an extremely scatterbrained commentator today. That's fine, because I have a feeling that's what I am every day. Ooh, it's boss. Die, boss. And so we scourging blow it, and that will do wonders. And then the deadly penetrating shot, or for some reason, I thought there was another word there when I went up and asked over it the first time. And so, the boss really wasn't mid-boss, it wasn't all that hard. It's way harder when you're actually... Um, my computer just glitched out, and I have a feeling I know why. My antivirus program keeps sending notices, and it causes the game to... Yep. And I moused out of my game, and that was, in fact, what had happened. So, there he is, Scoregram and Ivar, and... But Ivar is... Now what in the world was the graphics of that? I was right here and they just poofed out of existence. They were supposed to go through this door, I thought. Or nope, deadly barrel white. So we are supposed to run into him. Oh, and there's a guy up there, I didn't even notice. So, hit him with that, and that. And page 28 added to the inventory overflow. I knew that. Why is this only giving me that notice now? I've had my inventory overflowing for days days and days of playing my hunter. Hey, and it opened on its own. Very obliging of it. So this is another boss, I think. So, start with swift bow. He blocked both of them. What the cripe was that? That was more skills than any dead person should have. Um, I probably just imagined it. But wasn't there a guy that... I was looking at it from this angle, and there was a guy there. I was sure that went through over there. And so penetrating shot. Oh, arise, arise, my brothers. No, don't don't arise. That's a stupid thing to do. No, 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 no. No, my streak has ended. I'm dead. So this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And you have watched the death of a noob.
next time I might I will either come in with a friend or finish more quests. And have a wonderful day.